So now let's think about energy in terms of graphs. And if I have energy being conserved the whole way through, and sometimes they're going to do this, they're going to give you a graph of energy over time for an object, and they can give you something like just the object's kinetic energy, right? Like let's say the object has this kinetic energy over time. That's my kinetic energy. It also doesn't make sense because I had another example in mind. I messed it up. Ignore that. I wanted to do something very close to it, but slightly different that makes a lot more sense in real life. So this is a more realistic graph of kinetic energy. And this actually can be the kinetic energy graph of an object falling off a table. I'm going to draw the table again. So here's my ball. And it falls off the table like this. Think about what's going on with the ball. How much kinetic energy does it have at the beginning? Well, it has zero because it's not moving at the beginning. And then it's going to keep gaining and gaining speed. And if we remember that kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, and the velocity is going to be increasing now squared, it's going to have this parabola shape like this, an upward facing parabola. So this could be the kinetic energy formula or graph, we should say, of a ball falling off a table. And then if I were to ask a question, what does the potential energy curve look like if I want to plot it directly on this plot as well? And one thing I want you guys to remember is that what is the total energy in the system? I, I don't care about a number, but the point is the total energy in the system is a constant. In other words, if, if this is like the total kinetic energy here at that point, we can assume that the energy in the system is not going to be above that point. So this line represents the total energy in the system. Whether it exists as kinetic energy, whether it exists as potential energy, it completely depends on where the ball is in its current flight path. And so when it's at the beginning, again, what kind of energy does it have when it's at the top of the table? It's all potential, right? And if it's all potential, that means that the potential energy is equal to the total energy because once again, potential energy plus kinetic energy is equal to the total energy. And that's just going to be true for every point here in this graph. Okay? So we have the total energy here. And then if we think about what's going on at this time when the ball's all the way down here, and let's say here's the ground, then at that point, the potential energy is going to be zero, right? It has no height. Okay? So we have two points here, potential energy at the beginning, potential energy at the end. And now we kind of need to think, well, how are these how is this potential energy graph going to go? And I'm going to give us three potential options here. I'm going to write it in pencil. It can go linearly like this, which I already know that you guys are thinking, no way, Jose. It's got to have some curve to it. Okay, fair enough. Is the curve, though, going to be like this or like this? Is it going to be concave down or concave up? And this is kind of the tricky part of the question. But it, it becomes a lot easier when we start thinking about, okay, what is my total energy in the system, right? It always, the potential energy plus the kinetic energy has to equal the total energy at every point on this line. And for that reason, I want you guys to realize that it's this curve that goes like this. And the reason being is that if I were to add the potential energy plus the kinetic energy at this point, we get E total. If I add this number plus that number, it's a big potential energy plus a small kinetic energy equal to the total. At this point, it's 50-50, they add up to each other. And you can see if I were to add up the individual values at each of these points, the potential energy plus the kinetic energy is going to equal the same E total at every point. And for that reason, this is gonna be the shape of the potential energy line.